So lads, we're out of bed, we've splashed our face, we've started our morning routine. I'm gonna be taking you through the entire day. We've had a long couple of days though. Our flight from Spain back to the UK was delayed by like three to four hours, which meant I missed my evening trains. So I had to stay in the airport overnight. I didn't sleep. By the time I got home, it was like 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. I've woken up today feeling much better. So we're gonna get this morning routine started. And it's a big day, man, so uh, let's do it. to everyone you love. So with it being a brand new season, you already know your boy needed some new boots. Now we actually have something very exciting being announced soon. Even more boots coming our way as a little bit of a hint for you, but I had to get some touches on the ball. This is a training session I completed three days before our first pre-season game. And it was a mixture of getting touches on the ball, some technical shooting work of our left foot cutting in, as well as some football fitness and some sprint drills. So there's a lot you can actually take from this. To start, we've begun with some footwork drills, which for me, as someone who's like a forward player, and if you want to be a good dribbler naturally, if you're doing footwork drills consistently in your sessions, it's going to help. We then worked on some cutting in on our left foot which is our weak foot and one of the big reasons why is as you can see from the pitch on the right side there's a big dike so if I'm cutting in from the right and I miss or it goes through one of the holes in the nets then uh yeah I'm in trouble and you can see here we did a little bit of a football fitness drill this one's great you can see a ton of football fitness drills over on my TikTok and Instagram or if you go into the description below there's an ultimate footballers fitness guide for completely free tons of drills explanations and then we finished the session off with some sprints so solid little session building up our speed working on our fitness and getting touches on the ball ready for a big season ahead Yes, lads, so we are now on the way to the gym. I'm actually waiting outside my brother's house, giving him a little lift. We're gonna go to the gym together. I haven't got too much to do in the gym today. It's the day before match day, so I'm gonna go through my mobility routine and do a steady strength session. I'm doing a lot less strength work now. A lot of you saw, but I've been doing a lot of high rock strength training, which is focused on being functional. But apart from that, it's a lot of plyometric, speed work and football specific fitness. It's definitely a lot harder in pre-season now with matches and training to fit all of it in. But as we progress, and we build our ability to cope with more load, get fitter, shouldn't be too bad. Now over the last two months or so, I've definitely worked and improved massively on firstly losing body fat, losing weight and becoming less top heavy. Now aside from this movement right here, which I was actually recommended to help with my shoulders after I dislocated them a few months ago, I pretty much went straight into my mobility routines and my training has changed a lot. Like I previously mentioned, I'm gonna continue to show you my progress as we become lighter, stronger, faster, and hopefully better suited to perform out on the pitch. Right, so boys, we're at home now. The day is coming to a close. We're just currently working on some bits for the Level Elite Academy, which is launching very soon. Again, there's tons of free training guys, training groups, all in the description for you ballers, really serious about leveling up. At our final meal of the day, as we slowly begin to carb up, and we had a nice bowl of spaghetti bolognese, with some cheese and some ketchup. But I'm excited for this season. I'm gonna be documenting this entire season, the ups, the downs, my personal journey to try and improve, become better on the pitch, off the pitch. But I also think it it would be super interesting to document an entire non-league journey through a season, the ups, the downs. And you're gonna be seeing from the team I'm signing for, they definitely have ambitions to level up and improve year in, year out. So the match day vlogs are gonna be more than just me reacting to my own individual highlights. They're gonna level up massively. Hopefully I'll introduce you to some of the lads in the team. For now though, I need to finish up here, jump in the shower and get ready to get a good night's sleep in preparation for our first pre-season fixture tomorrow. With that being said, though let's get to match day morning lads it is the day of the game it is game day first game of pre-season coming right up the game is slightly later on so we need to get up get moving there's a few things we need to get done that being said So 
So lads, we're back in the car. It's actually turning out to be a pretty nice day. Don't know how well you can see. We arrived early at the gym. I actually do the social medias for this gym that's local to me. My brother works out. I think I've showed you in previous videos. But I came in to do like a mobility routine before my game. Focusing on hydrating and now we're going to head towards the match. We are going to have to make a stop to get some food, some like pre-match food. But we got our little gear on. I can't lie, this top is definitely a bit small for your boy. Yeah, pre-season is moving, boys. We're working hard. The weather hasn't been great since I've been back from the UK, but it's slowly getting better, so... Hopefully it stays like this. So let's hop into the match highlights. So the team I am going to be playing for this season is Gauleston FC, a team that I was actually dual registered to for the end of last season. Now I can't lie, because of the injuries I had last season, I never really felt like I was in good shape or match fit. And I was kind of chasing that, but with all the games and injuries, it was tough. You can see me, I'm playing number nine in this game and I get 60 minutes of game time. So not a crazy amount, but just enough to make a good highlight reel. And I thought I'd start this off with a proper, proper non-league tackle. Dom, that is a beautiful tackle, mate. It's funny because I've been so sucked into non-league that I actually was convinced that wasn't a foul. Uh, you can see here, like, especially now I'm a lot fitter, I'm making a lot more runs in behind, and it's not always shown on the highlights, just offering that kind of outlet, and it creates space for our more technical players to get on the ball. We've made quite a few signings this season and a lot of ballers uh, have signed. And by the way, there's a goal. One nil to the boys. Uh, kind of was involved with that first move running in behind, but a good cross and a good finish from Joe. You can see here, I'm just playing on the shoulders. I, I, I get about like, sometimes I'll pop out on the wing. Sometimes I'll stay central. I feel like because naturally I haven't always played as a nine, I definitely feel like I need to try and say sen stay central a little bit more, but at the same time, offering that outlet at different parts of the pitch, never a bad thing. You can see here, getting on the ball, uh, bringing different players into the game. There, I feel like as well with, with a lot of these highlights, I feel like I could be a little bit more direct. Like when I turn there, try and get across my man. Uh, you can see here, winning the ball back. I feel like this pass was slightly poor. Yeah, that was just like rush. For some reason, I felt like I thought I had a free pass and I didn't take care with it. So not the best there, lose the ball. You can see here, that was just me looking to run in behind. If the pass was played slightly sooner, potentially on. Again here, trying to be an outlet. Again, like at this point here, like... I feel like when I'm a bit sharper, I'd take that touch and then cut into the space that there was on the inside and start driving. I went for the nutmeg, which kind of came off, but it wasn't clean. This was, I think this was a bad pass. So here, looking to be direct and then looking to combine and that was just poor. Uh, I feel like I'd done a lot of running at that point. My legs were a little bit heavy, can't lie. Uh, what can we do? Bring the ball down, beautiful just offside that was literally the next play afterwards so i kind of made up for that uh, poor pass in the one before again here looking to hold it up looking to oh some switch that by the way that has gone all the way to the other side some switch here you can see just applying pressure because it's pre-season i'm definitely looking to run as much as i can even if it gets to the point where i have to come off slightly early because i'm trying to like play at a high intensity that I know I want to be playing at during season and working towards that. Here, holding the ball up, combine and looking to spin off. Their fullback was playing me on. Oh, I was slightly in order this one. If, I don't know. Rai came front post and then double back to the far and it actually was a good bit of movement if the pass was maybe slightly softer. Uh, as you can see here, second half. So how it worked was we played 30 minutes, or I played 30 minutes, then had 30 minutes off, then 30 minutes again, which I can't lie, was a bit difficult on the legs. Like I was stiff and it was raining heavily at this point. You can probably hear. Poor first touch. Now we're just looking to keep the ball. I probably could have come inside to Zach there, I think. Looking back, I feel like, I don't know if you get this as footballers, but when you return, the one thing that takes a little bit of sharpening and just some game time is your awareness. Uh, and I could definitely see that from watching these highlights back. Uh, should I have shot first time, boys? Let me know in the comments. Probably. You know what? I felt like I sold that step over quite well, but I feel like there was only one place I was ever going there. And that's onto my left. Thoughts on this, boys? I'll tell you it was a cross. I thought that someone was going to be there back post. In the end, there was. Albi keeps the ball and it does end up becoming a goal. Uh, I think at this point, the score is 
3-0 to Goulderson. We do concede a couple near the end and of course your boy does score. Again here, look and just be an outlet, combine, and keep the ball for the team. Try to be a little bit more reliable before we start adding in anything else. And this is our goal. As you can see here, constantly threatening in behind through one-on-one. -on -one. Not a crazy finish, I can't lie. I just took it slightly early and went underneath the keeper. Uh, have we got any more highlights here? Again here, I think the score currently is 4-2. So they scored two quite late. We kind of switched off near the end. Uh, but apart from that, we controlled this entire game. Good little match, good little run out. Minutes in the legs. Not a bad performance from the boy. I feel like I could be more direct, impact the game a bit more. Uh, but apart from that, not bad so lads that is the video done like i mentioned earlier in the future i definitely want to give you more of an all-round match day vlog experience showing you behind the scenes bits with the lads more of a full match day experience rather than just me sat here commenting over my highlights thank you all for watching today's video make sure you drop a like make sure you are subscribed and i'll see you all in the next one